I just love that we play games like this on this channel. We have worn so many hats. We have had so many different careers and pastimes and hobbies. We're adding gardening to that stay. What's up, guys? And welcome to Garden Life, the demo. Full game comes out in Q1 of next year. And uh, you guessed it. This is a gardening simulator. There goes our bus. Hey, I'm Jasmine. So great to finally meet you. Thanks a bunch for stepping up and volunteering. This garden really means a lot to us. Feel free to have a look around. The garden is not going anywhere. Look at this. We're in like a Italian fairy tale out here. But um, yeah, so the demo is currently on Steam. It's going to be around for the next week or so. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down in the description. Huge thank you to Natcom for sponsoring this. I, uh, I kind of had seen this on Steam. I wasn't sure if I was going to play it, and here we are. So as you can see, you've got your work cut out for you. I wanted to come by myself, but I've been so busy. But you're here, and you can look after the garden properly. I reckon you're going to do great. It looks not very great currently. Best starting point is probably the weeds. You can rip them straight out of the ground. A few weeds in the garden might keep pests away. But too many, and all they'll do is steal water. It's a fine balance. Always something to keep you on your toes. Interesting is this. Yeah, this is a weed here. So we're going to remove these. Wants us to get rid of 13 weeds. I didn't know weeds could potentially keep pests away. Your boy does not have much of a, uh, a green thumb himself. So look at this, man. we got fish swimming in our stream. Looks like we've got a bridge that we're going to have to have to fix and we're going to turn this into something great we got a greenhouse got a gazebo got little lookouts and things got to keep grabbing these weeds here we need five more don't be stealing the water from my plants what are these leaf piles we could pick these up too okay just gonna pick all these up want to make it look nice and tidy around here i see you've got a rucksack with you too smart i don't think i ever saw robin without theirs they're great for just throwing anything and everything inside so we can change around our hot bar slots here. We've also got our rucksack, so we could just move this. Oh, it looks like you can just transfer the whole thing. Okay. Compost bin is a great way to make weeds, leaf piles, and plant cuttings more useful. Lead them in here long enough, and you're going to turn them into compost, which you could feed your plants. That'll make plants grow faster. Makes a prettier garden. Is this our compost bin? We could open this up. I'm going to put our composted leaves in there beautiful last bit of cleanup here's a shovel to get rid of the dead plants it's a shame none of the plants made it but their seeds should be salvageable so things like this we're gonna pick up little rose bushes we've got little i don't even know what those are again your boy is not much of a green thumb but we're gonna get it done let's just go around i say we we get a nice fresh start here i don't want any weeds i don't want anything in our way get him okay i think I think we're good to go. Nice and clean. Great work so far. I think there's enough room to start planting now. Seeds so need a little bit of room to be able to grow properly, some more than others. Otherwise, you can plant them anywhere. We've left Robin's plant book in the shed, too. If you're ever unsure uh, what a plant needs, you could probably find it there. Okay, so I, I mean, I'm going to need help from Robin for sure. Look at this, dude. This is so chill. So we've got a, a tool storage shed. Looks like we have lots of tools that are going to be available. Seed storage, which we can open up. We've got a kitty here. You can pet the cat. That's an important part of, of any game. We've got deco storage. Obviously going to be able to customize our garden. Here's our gardening book. Okay, so we've got Sunflower, Helianthus Anis, immortalized by a Dutch post-impressionist painter. Sunflowers famously turn their heads towards the sun throughout the day. If unable to find it, they turn to face each other instead. Their seeds can be pressed into an oil that is used all around the world for cooking. It could also make delicious and healthy snacks. Interesting. So it looks like, are these like the type of soils they can go in. I'm not sure. Go to the next table. We've got Helleborus, Hydrangea. I recognize that. Jasmine. Daffodil. Rose. Wow. 20 pages of things here. Oh, oh, here we go. So you pick a seed to plant. Plants need space to grow. You plant it in the ground. You can harvest seeds later. They can get new variants. Dude, this is... Okay, this is very deep. If gardening is your thing, wow. Look how nice this looks. Oh, we can pick up rocks too. Beautiful. I'm gonna pick up these rocks here. I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna plant some roses right as soon as you enter. So I'm gonna put a rose on each side as you enter. Maybe some daffodils around this tree here. I don't want to get them too close together, but it might look kind of nice all around the tree. Let me put another daffodil back here. I want to get the sunflower seeds. I want to plant some sunflowers and then maybe we do like a little rose bush kind of 
over here. I don't know how close or far they can be from each other, but we're going to go with something like that. Now we can water them. Amazing. Here's your watering can. It's a little small, but it'll work for now. Every seed you plant will need some water to get it going. Then the watering regularly. Underwater plants will be brown, crispy, and they'll droop a bit. Ground around them will be discolored. So we don't want to starve our plants from water. We also don't want to overwater them, but it looks like that's a nice healthy amount there. Get a little confirmation that we're done when that, that water mark shows up. Don't forget our little guys over here. They're going to be thirsty too. Probably get two at a time. Oh, we're out of water. Amazing. Look at this. How great your garden looks already. You're a natural. I think that's enough for one day. There's no rush in any of this. You should have time to explore anyway. Just keep an eye on time. Make sure to get some rest at the end of the day. Okay. I think we can... I saw this earlier. We can refill our watering can. We're going to make sure we finish these guys as well. Might as well refill that there. And then where do we sleep? T to check the time. We, this is so whimsical and fairy-like. It's interesting. Remember in gardening, patience is key. Sometimes all you can do is wait as your plants grow and flourish. If you want, just take the bus home. Won't be able to meet you tomorrow, but I'll write you a postcard. Check the post box when you get here in the morning. See ya. All right, so I'm going to say let's throw all of our extra stuff in the compost bin. We're going to put our piles of leaves there. We have our deco storage here. I'm going to put our rocks in here. I don't know what I want to do with those yet. And then we have tool storage. We could put our watering can, pick up our shovel again. We can throw our shovel in there. I mean, we could probably just keep those on us, but... Always going to stay strapped. Never know when you need to, uh, you know, pop off and water some roses or something, so... We're gonna head home and off we go to day two. Dude, this is so ridiculous, but I kinda, I kinda love it. All right, oh my goodness, we've already got roses. Look at those things. Your plant is happy. Do you want some water? Would you like some water? I don't wanna overwater you, but I kinda feel like, you know, little, little bit of water each day. Start your morning off right, get some sunshine, some water. You'll be good to go. Look at our little, little yellow things. This is pretty. All right, everybody's not thirsty and happy, except Jasmine's request from the post box. Looks like we've got some mail here. Good morning, sorry I can't be there today. I've got a cover for Leslie at the gardening shop in the village. Ah, so we might have a little bit of business here too. Might be able to, you know, grow flowers to send off to sell. I'm making a gift for my fiance, Marcus. You'll meet him soon, don't worry. I need some daffodils for it. You'll need a pair of secateurs to cut some. You've cut the daffodils, leave them in the drop box outside the garden by the fence, and I'll pick them up tomorrow morning. All right, have a great day. Thanks. So we need six daffodil things. Oh, hello there, dearie. You must be the new gardener. I'm Leslie. I run the gardening shop in town. I'm sorry for stealing Jasmine from you today. I don't get many days off, you see. But I got her, uh, but I see you got your post, but I see you got your postcard. That's something Robin suggested. Send a postcard to make requests. They always wanted the garden to help us all out. Bless them. Is it sick of tears you need? We've got some of the shop. You should pop by and we'll give them to you. Then just snip away to plant flower to get the flower cuttings or prune the stems to get the stem cuttings for compost. And don't worry, the flowers can always grow back. Village Square is that way. Do we just we just tap on our... Ah, so this, this is a bit of a, a, you know, exploratory world situation here. This is the village, isn't it lovely? That's my shop there, Leslie's. You'll find all sorts of useful things for gardening there. Robin and Jasmine's little pavilion project is through the archway to the right, but that's closed for now. Anyway, take a look around. I'll make sure to uh, make the second tours available for you. So this is Leslie's garden shop. She's got plants up on the roof. This is like a mix of, of uh, Europe and a fairy tale and we've got a toad and a wizard's hat and like what is happening? We're gonna use the garden shop. Looks like everything is, is free right now. There's a paper boat's pond, Harold Nomer. Daisy Nomer, stone paving slab. We need the secateurs. Secateurs, humankind's ability to shape nature to their will now extends to plant life. These handy secateurs can cut a plant exactly how you want it, bringing you close to the garden of your dreams. So we're gonna purchase that. We can get a shovel, we already have that. We can get a watering can, which we already have, and a quick growth fertilizer for free. I'm gonna grab a few of those. I mean, if it's for free, why not, right? Might be able to quick plant something and get it done. So we've got our second tours now. Little snip snips. And we want to get uh, daffodil 
cuttings. Oh gosh, this makes me a little bit nervous. <gasps> That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, guys. They'll really grow back that quickly. I, I'm not even joking when I say that I am not a good gardener. Seven and eight. Uh, we didn't even get the eighth. You gotta actually point it at the flower. Interesting. All right. Excellent. You'll be a champion pruner in no time. You should put them in that red box by the fence. That's Robin's drop box. If somebody sends you a postcard, you can always put what they've requested in there in exchange for the gift they've left you. All part of Robin's plan to make this place for the community. So this is our drop box. Open this up. We're going to be able to deliver. And our reward was granted. No garden is truly complete without beautiful decorations. And while you're away, I found you a little something to kickstart your collection. Place them wherever you like, dearie. They'll instantly spruce the place up. If you're looking for more, we've always got a big collection in the shop. I'm going to put all these quick growth fertilizers in our, our tool storage. And then what did she... Oh, she gave us two frogs? Is this a live frog or is this... Can I put him on a rock? You can put them on rocks. I don't think they're alive, but that's kind of cool. You guys are now the official mascots of this garden. Thank you for being you. Definitely going to pick these up. Don't want these messing up the feng shui of this garden. Looks like it wanted us to practice placing these. So hold then release right to enter object placement mode. And then you can rotate things. I like them right there. Place them down. Okay. Well, I think... Uh, we're good on the day. Hello, dearie. It's a joy to witness a budding horticulturist like you embrace the art of gardening. Your splendid efforts in the garden truly warm my heart and speak to your dedication. You can use the rest of your time to explore and create the most beautiful garden you can. Enjoy your garden. Don't forget to wishlist garden life. Many wonders await. I'm going to go back to the village square. I want to see what we're working with here. Can we buy seeds from her? I wouldn't mind. Ooh, so she's got rose seeds, sunflower seeds. I'm buying these for sure. So everything is free. Hellebore seeds? I'll buy some of those. I'm wondering if that's because it's the, the you know, the demo here. They want you to just be able to mess around. Jasmine seeds. I'm going to get maybe three of everything. Hydrangea. Don't mind if I take some tulips. Look at all the other decorational things. We can get terracotta pots, plates, paper windmills. So you can really kind of go all out. I'm going to get a flower ladder here. I'm going to buy a few more of these quick growths. That might come in pretty handy. And uh, all right, back to the garden. About to put sunflowers all over this thing, baby. All right, here we go. So I say we plant. Let's not use the quick growth yet. Let's let's plant these legit today and, and see how it goes. So I'm going to put probably a row of sunflowers along here. And then I'm not really sure what to expect with a few of the other plants that we have. I'm kind of tempted to just put them down and, and see what they look like tomorrow. We're going to go through. We're going to water all these. I could see how chill this would be. It's getting late. Take the bus to wrap things up today. You can hear the, the clock tower in the background. It's two... Three. I think what I'm going to do, or we're just going to, we're going to go in order here. So we're going to plant hellebore and then we're going to plant yellow daffodil. Then we're going to plant jasmine, red tulips, hydrangea. Then we're going to, we're going to water all these and we're going to call it a day. Fill up our watering can. I always want to make sure we've got extra water when we need it. Got to hold it to pick it up. And then I'm going to say, let's put the rest of these in seed storage. Let's do it in the order they were in, though. So it was sunflower, hellebore. There we go. We'll be able to tell which one was which. And we've also got this flower ladder. I guess we could place that over there. I <laughs> we don't really have a lot of options here. I'm sad we can't cross the bridge. It looks like we kind of keep pushing that way and, and we could eventually have a huge garden here. So we're going to call that a day. Let's head home before it gets too late and uh, we'll see how we're looking in the morning. Day three. All right. Another long shift in the garden ahead of us. So I, I think this might be the end of the demo. I, I think, you know, there's not going to be any more missions or anything coming in. Whoa. Okay. I really like the sunflowers. Those are killing it. Although it looks like some of them didn't didn't fully grow overnight. So that's kind of sad. I'm curious to see if they start aiming towards the sun here. Uh, this, that's the hydrangea. I think that thing is massive. That is really ugly. These two are nice. 
And then we've got the, the tulip there in the middle. The tulips obviously look very nice as well. The hydrangea just kind of took over everything. I, I like the rose bushes. I like the sunflowers. And I think the tulips are probably my next, next favorite. I'm going to pick up all these weeds here. And then I want to try out the quick growth fertilizer just to see how that works. Get out of here. Not welcome here. I'm going to try planting them um, maybe around like this. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Maybe one here. One there. One over here. Just kind of keep it going around. So we've got those. And then we've got the uh, these things. Quick growth fertilizer. You need to water it with a watering can first. So let's go around and water. Looks like some of these are kind of in the weeds here. I wonder if you can pull these or not. So we've got water on all those. Now we're going to be able to use our quick growth fertilizer. We can... Fertile. How much do you want me to use on it? I don't know. But it looks like we've got something happening there. This runs out really quickly. The, the blue things. That's going to make it grow a little bit faster. We'll see. It might not grow the same day, though. I was kind of hoping they were instantly going to sprout up. But again, gardening is, is all about being patient and, and taking your time. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Whoa. So it's not instantaneous, but they do pop up. No way. That is so cool. Okay, we got to make sure everything else gets its water, too. Music is so relaxing. Let's make sure that all of our little sunflower friends get water here. Hoping in the main game we're going to be able to get a bigger watering can. It's actually not... I mean, it's not that bad. It's part of it. I did see... Is this over here? You can get sprinklers. I thought that was going to be a hose we could refill at, but no, you can get sprinklers. Fill her up again. We're going to want to get our giant smorgasbord of plants here in the middle. Not even sure what to call that. And then we've got these guys over here. So uh, I don't know if we're going to get any other missions. I think this is probably a good spot to stop this demo. But uh, honestly, really chill. I This is probably the most chill game I have ever played. You know, I, I do like that it looks like we've got missions and we might be introducing business and, and, you know, we get orders and we get XP and unlocks and things like that as we grow more flowers. But really, ultimately, it's about filling up your watering can and taking care of your flowers. Look at all these guys looking up towards the sun. That is so cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love it what you guys think. I, like I said, I just honestly, I love you guys. I love the fact that we can play stuff like this and just have fun with it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Natcom for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out the demo, like I said, it's going to be on Steam for the next week or so. I'll link it down in the description. And so if you guys want this to be a full series when it comes out, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace out.